Hello friends, it's Carly. I hope you're all doing so well and that you've had a fantastic week wherever you are in the world. Today I'm bringing you another one of my clean with me cleaning routine videos. I hope you guys like watching these as much as I like filming them. I feel like I'm probably one of the only people I know that enjoys cleaning as much as I do. Probably second to my mum, who clearly is the person that I learned all of my cleaning skills from. Um, not only am I going to be cleaning my house today, but I'm also going to be doing a big organize and declutter of my wardrobe. I feel like I am constantly organizing my wardrobe, but I do have such a small space, so I need to be super intentional with the clothes that I decide to keep and really really not kind of hold on to items for sentimental reasons, but think about the practicality of whether I actually use them or not. And that's going to be the deciding factor is whether they get to remain in my space. I honestly think I'm probably one of the worst people at stacking my dishwasher. I feel like I honestly just don't know the best ways to stack it for maximum cleanliness results. And oftentimes I end up pulling the dishes out once the cycle is done and finding that things are not clean. And it's very frustrating because I don't like to waste water or the tablets or have to do things more times than is necessary. So if you do have any dishwasher hacks, please let me know in the comments so that I can sort this situation out and make sure that I end up having clean dishes at the end of it. Today I used my disposable wipes to give my fridge a little bit of a clean out. I started by pulling a few things out just on the main shelves, but ages ago when we first moved into this house, I did do a deep clean of the kitchen video and I ended up pulling out all of the shelving units in the door and giving them a good scrub and basically dismantling the whole fridge and giving it a really good clean out. And that was a long time ago now. In the meantime, I've just been taking the fruit out of the fridge and giving it a wipe, but I honestly think we are at the point that it does need a major freshen up and I really need to get my act together and do that deep clean sometime soon.
The other weekend we had Dave's family over and I was hanging out with his mum, dad and sister in the living room just having a chat and a cuppa while Dave was in our little study, gym, whatever you want to call it room with all the kids doing a workout of all things. And I noticed once they'd evacuated the room that my mirror was slightly dirty and you can see me going hardcore on a little patch of it there. There was something sticky and suspicious on the mirror that I think may have been a lolly that was put there by little children's fingers. So, the joys that I have to look forward to one day when I have kids. I'd like to introduce you to Louie. He is Dave's brother's dog, and he actually lived with us for about three months a couple of years ago, but he does come up for a visit time to time, and him and Mac will run around the yard crazily for five minutes, enjoying each other's company, and then we'll go their separate ways and basically pretend the other one doesn't exist, which is very strange but whatever floats their boat i suppose he's coming to keep me company while i hang out the clothes Now we are on to the wardrobe, organize, clean out, and declutter section of the video. And I'm going to start off by taking literally everything out of my wardrobe. So all of the hanging clothes and all of the folded clothes, either on the shelves or in the drawers and putting them on my bed. And from there, I am going to inspect everything and do a bit of a Marie Kondo thinking about does it bring me joy? Does it fit? Do I actually use it? And I did manage to clear out a fair few things. I've kind of created two sections. One section will be things that are going to be donated and I'll take straight to Vinnie's. And then the other section I decided to create was things that I am going to offer to other people first. I am very lucky because both my mum and my two younger sisters are all a similar size to me. So over the last couple of years, we have done a lot of clothing sharing, which has been very good in terms of us being able to receive clothes that are new to us and sprucing up our wardrobe in that sense. It's helped us to save money and also be more eco-friendly but for me personally what that has meant while it's been super convenient is that I've ended up with a very mishmash wardrobe where I haven't necessarily had a defined style instead I've had kind of bits and pieces of things from all different styles that I've just decided to keep because I felt like they were convenient or they served a purpose in my wardrobe. But in saying that, a lot of those clothing items didn't necessarily bring me joy and I wasn't excited about wearing them. So that's what I'm really looking for at the moment. Now, I do have a couple of kind of categories within my own clothes. Obviously, a big category for me at the moment is work clothes. I do work full time as a high school teacher. So as much as a lot of those clothes 
do not bring me joy and I would really like to evict them from my wardrobe, they do have to stay around. I also have my workout clothing section and then the majority of my wardrobe falls into the final category which is just everyday wear which I am the most excited about and over the last couple of months I've been trying to realize my own personal style and I've decided that I just like to go for comfy effortless and really basic staple pieces in neutral style colors. Things that are tight, low, short, revealing or trendy just don't work with me and I need to stop buying things for a fantasy version of myself and instead purchase things that will serve me in the long term and through different seasons of my life and I will actually wear. I popped both the bags of clothes in the boot of my car so that I can stop in at the Salvos one afternoon this coming week and drop those off. I already had a few other bags of bits and pieces of my clothes and Day's clothes that I decluttered quite some time ago but just hadn't got around to uh, getting rid of. So this will really give me the incentive to do that. If you enjoyed today's cleaning, organizing and decluttering video, make sure you give this one a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. I put out new videos every Wednesday and Saturday. With that being said, I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your week and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye guys.